Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the Mic Check. Mic Check 1212. Is this thing on? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing great. Now, I just want to go over some things that we've uh, we've seen in the last few days. Um, the, now, the Wave and Ripple color design book has come out. A lot of people are receiving it in the mail. A lot of people are looking at it and finding out that it's full of much more than just designs. Alright, we're going to get into that. Before I get into it, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're up to date on my videos and live streams. If you don't hit the notification bell, you might miss out on a chance to, to hop into our great live streams. Sincerely, Crypto Mike. Let's go. All right, guys. So now we've been seeing uh, more and more pictures being posted on on Twitter, uh, in the Telegram, all over the place. And you know, I can't wait to get mine. I should be getting mine any day now. Um, we've had delay after delay. They're finally coming in the mail. the uh, The Bitcoin coloring books are supposed to be coming in uh, maybe like a month from now or less. I forgot the exact date. All right, but we do have our Ripple design books okay now they were put out by satoshi nakamoto uh on amazon by leaf storm press the publisher is leaf storm press i contacted them just to find some information they, they were very cryptic in their response um telling me that satoshi nakamoto basically told them to keep their lips sealed and they could barely tell me anything they said that uh they could neither confirm nor deny the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, but they were able to confirm that 100% of the proceeds of the books were going to STEM, Environmental Educational Programs for Underprivileged Youth. All right, guys. So um, now this is one of the main things I've seen. Just I uh, Someone brought this to my attention yesterday. Um, what is his name? Um, XRP since birth kindergarten crypto kid at since XRP. Go check him out on Twitter and follow him. Give him a follow. Uh, and if you're watching this, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. This is very exciting. Very exciting, guys. This is so exciting. Check it out. Wild Stallion, who's Ripple? All right. So now what do we do? We do what we always do. We gematronate it. Now we put it in and guess what comes out? Okay, type in it. Wild Stallion Who's Ripple. This is in the gematrix.org. There's also another one called the gematronator. All right, we use this one. Um, I, I usually use this one. Also, you can use gematronator. That one's good too. Um, now we know Trump codes a lot. He he's been coding uh, in his Bitcoin his infamous Bitcoin tweet. He coded something very similar. Also, I didn't pull it up, but uh, you know I'll have to use that in my next video. Um, that one is uh, also very interesting. It's very similar to this. Only that was Trump saying it. Okay. Now we don't know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. We don't know yet. But we're finding out. We're figuring it out. Putting the pieces together. Now, when you type in Wild Stallion Hoops Ripple, what comes out? Well, Divine, Divine Truth Writing. What's right underneath it, though? XRP One World Currency. What? Whoa. What? Is this for real? Now, underneath that, it says the $20 trillion elephant. Interesting very interesting all right so we're gonna get into both of those all right now so xrp one world currency okay this you know it's not just this okay now this is very interesting so whoever wrote this book whoever put this book together and they used they used a book they used designs from yori mizan um who, who made the original Ripple 
designs that they used in uh, the, the old days in, in Japan. And they used to engrave these ripple and wave designs on their furniture and their uh, on their weapons, on their wooden uh, fixtures and stuff like that. So they would have these ripple designs on their swords, you know, on their uh, katanas, you know, and it was a big thing in Japan. And so now they redesigned the book. Um, they re redesigned it and they put out a wave and ripple coloring book or not coloring book, but design book. All right. Um, and it, it, they put it out for as Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't know who it is, but I have a feeling we, I know who it is and I'll show you why. Okay. So the question is they're using Gematria to tell us XRP one world currency. Now, the question is, is this legit? Who is it who put it out? And can we trust them? That's the big question. Can we trust them? Okay, so what they're saying, you guys, is that XRP one world currency will wipe out the US debt. That's what I take from it. The $20 trillion elephant that alludes to the US debt. Okay, look at the U.S. debt. It's well, it's 22 trillion now, but for quite a while, it's been actually referred to as the 20 trillion dollar elephant, the U.S. national debt. This is this is uh the U.S. debt clock dot org. Okay, and our, our, the debt is just running and running, but now now it's 22 trillion, close enough for me. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, and that that that's what. Uh, that's what our friend here, B Nuts, was telling us in this interview that I uh, conducted a few days ago here. And uh, I'll just play you a little excerpt from it and uh, it'll show you kind of, it'll kind of paint a picture for you. Out of the banking system, I mean, slowly, right? Right. Uh, Ripple started to uh, influence all of the other players. They say, okay, this is what's going to happen. And, uh, they started handing out these XRP tokens to all of the um, the leadership or you know, decision makers, the bankers. You know. Okay, so what he's saying is that Ripple they had all these tokens. Okay, now if it's going to be the future of the financial system, right, and the global liquidity uh, reserve, you know, global reserve, uh, then yeah, you know these these future you know these people who make decisions in congress and pass bills and you know and you know the shot callers basically they got kickbacks from ripple in the in the beginning you know and that's why a lot of these people have huge wallets all right because ripple basically paid them off to get ripple into power you know to get ripple into the position it's in now and um you know it basically ripple paid them to listen you know hey check it out look what we've got this is what's gonna happen you know we're gonna take care of everything okay the the, the global reset will be conducted by us we're gonna take care of it for you guys for for everyone but here we're gonna kick you back you know a couple hundred thousand xrp or a million xrp and um, hold on to them for when it happens, and you will be a multi billionaire. Deal? You just gotta vote us in. You gotta, you gotta get us in there. Okay? You're the decision maker, right? Now, now that's what B Nuts is telling us here. Get them up, uh, primed. So when the token does uh, explode, and what the what the plan is here is is this. Okay, so. The banks and the institutions, when they have this uh, dollar or the, uh, the the debt jubilee, you know, they're going to forgive a lot of debt, right? Yep. So the banks are going to do well, but their accounts receivable are going to be in lack, right? So all their accounts receivable are going to be gone. Mm -hmm. So what the plan is, is that they're going to, um, uh, you know, let, let's just say 20 minutes, 30 minutes before the announcement's made for the, uh, the dollar reset. Mm -hmm. They'll get the call to um, that it's happening, right? They'll click the button, and all of their dollar-based assets, you know, our our savings accounts and such, they'll convert that into XRP, right? Mm -hmm. And then twenty minutes later, the public finds out, and the flight to safety 
arrives, arrives right? Yeah. yeah. XRP starts shooting up a thousand, let's just say it, it shoots up 8,000%. Oh, And wow. you say, well, let's read for the banks. Let's read for the banks, man. They mean now, but listen, they lost maybe, let's just say they lost, you know, 7,000% or 10,000% of their accounts receivable. By the way, give this video a thumbs up, guys, if you like this content. Oh, right, because all the debts are, are, are gone, you know, so they're not going to get any payments for your visa or your house payment, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. De debt is forgiven for that, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and they're going to be lacking, but when they get an XRP, it's going to go up, so their asset plan, their assets are going to go up. You know, because it's free. It's free when it, uh, you know, the first pop is free because there's no, um, there's no labor against it or interest against the, the money, right? So it just pops up yeah. to a new, a new level, wow. and they're hoping that's going to save the banks. Wow. Because they're gonna, they're gonna lose money for their accounts receivable because they're not gonna get their uh, account receivables in. But the uh, eight thousand, let's say, pop in the XRP might make them whole again. So do you see how that's going to work? You see how they're going to save the banks? And, but the banks are going to, they're not going to laugh because they're going to have to restructure. And that's why all these uh, bankers and decision makers have a shitload of XRP. Right. And they're going to make it go through the roof. No, that, that they're actually... Through, so. All right, so what do you guys think about that? Golden Parachute, Debt Jubilee. Now, this is... This is kind of this is the kind of stuff that makes me that makes me very very hopeful and just happy to be in XRP. Okay, just this kind of talk because this is a possibility. Now, what he's saying is is getting more and more possible in my eyes over time. Okay. Um, by the way, this is a great interview. This is a great interview that uh, that I I conducted with B Nuts. Okay, he has a YouTube channel, Sick TA. Go check it out. Go subscribe. A lot of good stuff on his channel. All right. Now, by the way, go back. I'll leave this link in my description, actually. Uh, I'll leave the link in my description. Go back and watch this interview. There's a lot of good stuff in it that makes a lot of sense. Okay. All right. So now, now he's explaining that the $20 trillion elephant will be taken out automatically by XRP. Now, that's a stretch, but it's possible, okay? It is possible. Now, that's what this coloring book's telling us, right? That's kind of what this coloring book would, if if the $20 trillion elephant was taken out, XRP would be a one world currency, right? I don't know. It is possible. Don't listen to the naysayers, guys. Keep an open mind. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying it's not impossible, okay? So don't hate on me before you go in the comment section and, you know, tell me who, you know, tell, tell me that I'm an idiot. Before you do that, just remember, keep an open mind, okay? The naysayers are not the ones who are ushering in the new world. This is a new world we're, we're diving into. This is a new... A new world, a transition, a shift. Anything's possible nowadays, guys. Anything's possible. Okay? Don't be the one who's sitting there, you know, doubting it while it's happening. You know? You're going to be left behind. All right? Now, so uh, I want to show you some of the connections I made to, I think, the coloring book, this design book. I think this design book was put out, it's a possibility, okay, from some of the connections I made, and I'm going to show you in just one second, that I think this has something to do with Microsoft. I really do. And we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll put more pieces together. But so far, I'm finding a lot of connections to Microsoft, okay? So I'll show you where I found some connections. This is a past yeah. video. This is a past video of mine. Okay. Um, this is when the coloring books first came out um, and we pre-ordered them and everything. No one had them yet. This was a few months ago.
Okay, we're halfway into May. The fifth tooth is May. Okay, he's only covering half of it though. Half of it's dark, half of it's light. Okay, now when we talk about swift, here's swift. Okay, now the box. Okay, there's a box next to it. There's a green arrow shooting out. Okay, there's a little cloud or a thought bubble. I think it represents both. Okay, thinking outside the box. We're, we're thinking outside the box. We're going to start thinking. Cryptocurrency in general is something that is being th is thinking outside the box. Okay, all right. Now, also, it's a cloud. Okay, now let's go over here. Okay, cloud, cloud, cloud. Well, first of all, I, I typed in WIF because that was the those were the three letters in Swift on that puzzle. You guys saw WIF. Okay, searched it, and it came up Windows Identity Foundation. Okay, also I saw this World Investment Investment Forum. I didn't look into that because I I saw this one first, and I I know Windows has ties to to Ripple. Okay, so. I actually typed in on the Windows website STEM, okay, because of the coloring book. Okay, the coloring book, all the proceeds are going to STEM. All the proceeds, 100%. Okay, they're not looking for any profit from this. This isn't just some random person, okay, putting it out, you know. This is a legit organization okay stem has ties to microsoft all right and what's what does this mean anyways 100 percent. what does all this mean i don't know but it doesn't might not mean anything but i did type it in and guess what i found on the main page when i typed in stem think taylor that is an obvious clue think taylor swift swift is the, the word we need to focus on swift 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 Wait for some kind of big announcement with Swift, okay? Buy in that, buy in that XRP now, okay? If you've been holding off, this is the time to buy. It's never going to get lower, okay? All right? Now, because Microsoft, Microsoft, oh, okay, well, fine. I, I went here. Do you remember this, the Ripple Riddler? Okay, this is the most exciting thing. Check it out on Amazon. About the author, Satoshi Nakamoto. Who does that look like? Who does it look like? Ripple Riddler. Okay. That kind of looks like Vitalik, by the way. Now, who is that? Brad Garlinghouse. Guys, it looks just like Brad Garlinghouse. And they just put this up, you guys. I don't think anyone's realized this. Okay. He is donating 100% of book royalties to STEM, okay? Microsoft, STEM, um, okay? STEM, STEM, STEM. Um, the, the one clue was, uh, what was it called? Uh, something 2019. Um, Lewis and Clark. Clark 2019, okay? All right, so... He says this about his new books. The books speak for themselves. I hope they enlighten the curious and make the enlightened even more curious. Nice. All right. Brad Garlinghouse. Okay, so when, it, when, when the Microsoft website says Think Taylor, I came back and I looked at Bearable Guy's clue here. Think. Okay. It's a thought bubble. That reminds me of Think. Okay, think outside the box. Yeah, that's the obvious one, right? I know. You guys told me in my comment section. You, you know, I already heard. I, I heard. Man, you're so stupid. It's That means think outside the box. I know. Look, I'm thinking deeper than that. There's multiple meanings to certain things sometimes. Okay, you got to look at all the different aspects of it. So what I think this means is think and then Swift, right? Taylor, okay? The W and the I and the F, okay? Taylor Swift, okay? They're not saying anything about her, but she is a very popular person with a very popular name, and it's a very easy way to, to cover this up and, and put it in a puzzle. Because when you think Swift, most people, I'll tell you the truth, most people think of like Taylor Swift. They don't know what Swift is. They don't know it's a messaging money system. 
okay, that, that sends money all around the world. Most people don't know that. Um, so anyways, so think Taylor, okay? So the way, how I got there was I typed in, look, the S and the T is a money sign and a plus sign, okay? Now, the W and the I and the F are completely different uh, um, font, right? And they're different colors, okay? He's very clever what he's done here. But W, I, F to me, okay, Windows Identity Foundation, okay? I, I looked it up. You just saw. I, I looked it up. Windows Identity Foundation. Also, this could be a cloud as well multiple meanings okay because what what's going on with windows right now well they just reached a trillion dollars as in their market cap right just today or yesterday all right huge the age of azure microsoft azure that's their cloud service the age of azure is upon us microsoft the biggest business segment is now the one that includes its azure cloud Microsoft's in intelligent cloud segment produced more quarterly revenu than revenue than the segments containing Office and Windows for the first time in more than three years. For the first time. It's just starting. Cloud is huge. Okay, C Cloud computing is humongous. By the way, what does that look like? <laughs> I, just, I just noticed that. Anyways. Forgive me. Azure benefits from a secular shift to cloud that has also boosted other companies, including Alibaba, Google, IBM, and Oracle. Interesting. Now, who is Alibaba partnered with? Tron. Okay. Now, my friend B not here. In this interview, in on this video, I'm telling you, go watch it. Now he states that he thinks Tron will be Chinese, the Chinese digital currency. It'll be their national digital currency. Just like he's saying that XRP will be a one world currency, but it'll be, you know, how the US dollar is the world reserve. XRP will replace the US dollar. I know it's a stretch. Don't unsubscribe because of that. Just because I'm saying that, okay? I'm only lim I'm only listing possibilities. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. Okay, so don't please don't unsubscribe just because I said that. All right. Now he's saying tr this is what B nuts is saying. Okay, Tron would be and Tron is is partnered with Alibaba. That's like the Chinese Amazon. All right. Now Google. Who are they partnered with? Chainlink and Oracle. Both of them are partnered with Chainlink. That's why I love Chainlink so much. Because they're partnered with the two, two of the biggest companies in the world. Now, IBM. Who's their big partner in, in cryptocurrency land? Stellar. I hold... I don't hold Tron. I, I'm thinking about getting some though, especially because Justin Sun just put out a tweet yesterday saying that next week, in addition to eating lunch with Warren Buffett, which is also in the description of the Bitcoin coloring book, we're, we're piecing every, everything is tying together, guys. Okay, but in addition to eating lunch with Warren Buffett, and he's also bringing Charlie Lee with him, um, he is he said that's. Tr Next week will be a huge week, okay? And I'm assuming he's talking about for Tron, but he could be talking about for cryptocurrency in general. We'll see, okay? So we got Tron right here. They, they just listed. So Microsoft is going to, my opinion is that Microsoft will announce an, a partnership with Chainlink soon, okay? There's a lot of rumors been flying about that, um, a lot of rumors, and all the rumors I've heard about Chainlink, they've come true. Okay. So I think Microsoft might list a, they might, they might announce a partnership with Ripple. They already taught, they're tied with Ripple already, but they might start saying that they're going to start using XRP for their Azure cloud. And that would probably explain uh, David Schwartz's background here with the clouds. That, in my opinion, I don't know. I think Ripple has a lot. I think Ripple has a lot of non-disclosure agreements, 
And there's a big thing happening in the world right now, including Ripple and RippleNet and XRapid, XCurrent, XVIA, all that. And so, okay, so does that explain a little bit? Now, David Schwartz is a kind man. Okay, you go down here. In a lot of his uh, tweets, he uses Gematria as well. This is one of my favorites. If only there was a Netflix for books. He, he rarely tweets, guys, but yeah, he does use, uh, he, he is a very kind man. He tries to warn us. He tries to tell us, okay? I, I can go through like 10 of his different uh, uses of Gematria, and they're all great. But this is my favorite one, I think. It says, if only there was a Netflix for books. Whoops. And then what does that mean? Believe now or pay later. So he's telling us, believe now, buy up that XRP now, or you're going to end up buying it later and you're not going to be rich. You know, you're going to be okay, but you're going to be rich if you buy now. That's what he's telling us. And I don't know when it's going to blow up. We don't know when yet. There's a lot of speculation on that. Okay. But we just don't know. No one knows. There's a lot of dates being thrown out, you know, so, oh, and I also wanted to show you this, too. Wearing a black t-shirt, I, of course, was wearing the trademark Brioni. And just did that for David, because it's worth more than David. And I'm listening to the man. Well done, Jim. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is a gigantic company. It deserves... Yeah, he's talking about Microsoft here. This was today. Subject line. Bravo. Then I'm out of you. And then I'll, I'll end the movie. But this is a great inter this is a great little segment by Jim Cramer on on the the CFO of Microsoft. Above a trillion dollars quarterly results beat expectations the CFO, of cloud sorry. strength. Here's Nadella on last night's conference call. Our commercial cloud business is the largest in the world, surpassing $38 billion in revenue for the year, with gross margin expanding to 63%. I'm proud of what we have accomplished over the last 12 months, and I'm energized by the tremendous opportunity ahead. Every day, we work alongside our customers to help them build their own digital capability, creating new businesses with them, innovating with them, and earning their trust. Clouds a third of revenue, and after AT and T, they've had quite the week. Yeah, I, I did something I never do. I listened to that conference call probably around eleven thirty last night, and I shot him an email. Subject line: Bravo. Then I'm out of superlatives. Well done, Jim. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is a gigantic company. By the way, if uh, if Ripple XRP was to go to like a thousand dollars or ten thousand, um, there's a slight rumor mumbling kind of thing going on that there might have to be citadels for those kind of people, for those people who are super rich, us XRP people, because everyone's gonna want our money, right? Anyways, I do notice the things in the background on the news channels, I, and I feel like they do put them there. Uh, products placement they do put them there on purpose not all the time but sometimes anyways it deserves to be if there's a trillion dollar company it deserves uh, there wasn't i and you know when you've got this amy hood she's been the cfo she's one of the best cfos in the world maybe the best and now they uh, Kyle Tomatoes retired from other people but people have to listen to this uh, this company is this man is a unassuming humble man who has taken a company that was once great, turned it around, and is a powerhouse. Andy Jass, he, uh, Amazon Web Services, probably listening. He, he's fabulous, too. The, we have some executives in this country that if we don't start realizing, they are the people who are driving forces, doing things that are amazing. You know, look, I know Washington wants to break up something. They should bring Sacha in because – you will hear how great America is. Well, one of the names they're not talking about very often, I wonder, of course, is Microsoft. It does not get lumped in, even well, though it, it is the largest and is now reserved. Yeah, Microsoft market. is one of those quiet companies, in my opinion. They're one of those quiet companies that's always working. They're always building, you know, 
And that, for that reason, I think they're just like Ripple. They're and they're partnered with Ripple. You know, they they've been working on a lot in the background. Surge in fact to being the most well the largest company right. and therefore the largest technology company in terms of its market cap. Uh, it's not included, obviously, in anything discussed. Any discussion? Now, if the largest technology company in the world was gonna use was using X Rapid, you know, for micropayments or whatever, uh, for everything, you know, then I think that would be a big, big thing for uh, for Ripple. About and XRP regulatory or antitrust, having dealt right. with that twenty years ago. Yeah. Um, now it's just all about cloud. That's what it's about. And, and to your point, I mean, he pivoted the company to focus right. on this five years ago, whatever it was at this point. And the growth rate is just astounding. Well, there's a moment in the call where one, I mean, I, to find anything wrong with this quarter is ridiculous. Where are the analysts? Like, do you really want to still be in gaming? Xbox? And he goes, we have the greatest gaming platform in the world. We have the most gamers in the world. Gaming is the future. And I'm thinking, LinkedIn. Wait, isn't Ripple diving into that too? Yes. <laughs> it all connects. Oh my, was that brilliant. Gaming, brilliant. 360, the Office 360. I have a, a PC and it's an Office 360. I, it, Tim Cook called your ears. It is a darn good PC. And, and you, you sit there and you say, this is a corporate PC. It's not what I selected. So, but uh, you sit there and you say, did they miss on anything? Nothing. And I am in awe of what this man's done. I remember when he said 18 billion for cloud and I was critical. I said, I met him he's wearing the black t-shirt. I of course was wearing the trademark Brioni and just did that for David because it's worth more than David. And I'm listening to the man and he's talking about educating people in second grade. That's what he wants to talk about. STEM. Bam. STEM. So all the proceeds are going to STEM for the coloring book. Now uh, back, we're going to go back real quick to the original question. Who put this book out as Satoshi Nakamoto? Okay, obviously I don't think it's the original Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't think it's the one who created Bitcoin. I don't even know if that is a real person. I don't know if that was a pen name or, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it was a group of people. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it was a corporation. You know, some people think AI created it. Some people think aliens created it. You know, who knows? We don't know yet. It'll come out. The truth will come out soon uh, or someday at least. But anyways, the original question of this entire video and of our entire futures is, is, is it going to be a one world currency? Is there credence we can lend to the writer of this book who uses Gematria blatantly by having us type this into the gematrix.org? By the way, more and more people and uh, influencers out there are using this. Okay, Now we have to decipher, we have to make sure we're able to use our discernment and make sure people aren't just playing us like a fill. That's what I'm, that's my goal here. We have to figure out who is putting this out and are they very sincere or are they just messing around? Okay, because if they are sincere and it's a big corporation like Microsoft, they would know, wouldn't they? They would know. Now, a lot of pieces are being put together. We'll continue. We'll continue the, the building of the puzzle um, in my next video okay guys we'll, we'll put some more pieces together in my next video so i'm gonna end this video now uh, please take a moment if you like my content okay by the way i do live stream a lot we love to go over this kind of stuff in the live streams so subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell it'll notify you when i'm live okay and the community we have the telegram group we all come together we we talk in the telegram all the time constantly Okay, we're putting the pieces together constantly, one piece at a time. You know, great community here. By the way, go follow me on Twitter down in the description. Just click on it and follow. Okay, all right, guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Crypto Mike.